How to remove facial hair at home naturally. Unlike hair on the other body parts, facial hair are quite visible and can make or break your look. If you find it tedious to visit a salon every few weeks, here are some simple and effective home remedies to remove your facial hair naturally. 1. Turmeric paste. Turmeric has been used for centuries for its anti inflammatory properties. Create a paste by mixing turmeric with water or milk. Apply it to the areas with unwanted hair and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing off. 2. Papaya and turmeric mask. Papaya contains an enzyme called papain that can help weaken hair follicles and inhibit hair growth. Blend ripe papaya with a pinch of turmeric to make a paste. Apply it to the face and leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing. 3. Papaya and Aloe Vera Create a thick paste by mixing aloe vera pulp with papaya paste, gram flour, and mustard oil. Let the paste dry on your face. Then wash it off and massage your skin with some olive oil. This should be done at least 3 to 4 times a week for 3 months. The papain enzyme will cause the hair to come out, and the aloe vera will soothe your skin. Ensure you do not use soap after this mask. Mustard oil could cause skin irritation, so do a patch test before applying it to your face. 4. Sugar and lemon juice. All you need to do is mix 2 tablespoons of sugar and lemon juice, along with 8 to 9 tablespoons of water. Heat this mixture until bubbles start to appear and then, let it cool. Apply it on the affected areas using a spatula and keep it for about 20 to 25 minutes. Wash it off with cold water, rubbing in circular motion. Wondering how it works? Well, sugar is a natural exfoliating agent, and warm sugar sticks to your hair, not skin. Lemon juice works as a natural and cheap bleach for the skin hair, and also helps to lighten the skin tone. Say bye to the painful facial waxing. 5. Lemon and honey. This is another method to replace waxing. Start with mixing 2 tablespoons of sugar and lemon juice, and 1 tablespoon of honey. Heat the mixture for about 3 minutes and add water to make the mixture thinner, if required. Once the paste cools down, apply cornstarch on the affected areas and spread the paste in the direction of hair growth. Next, use a waxing strip or a cotton cloth, and pull the hair out in the opposite direction of growth. Honey helps in moisturizing the skin, and hence this method is highly recommended if you have dry skin. 6. Egg white and cornstarch. Mix a tablespoon each of cornstarch and sugar with egg white. Apply this mixture on the areas where you have unwanted hair and peel it off once it is dry. Quite simple, isn't it? Egg white is sticky and forms a thin film on skin when combined with sugar and cornstarch. This method is not suitable for acne-prone skin as egg white contains vitamin A which may lead to breakouts. 7. Potato and lentil. Mix a tablespoon of honey, lemon juice each with 5 tablespoons of potato juice. Meanwhile, grind the lentils, soaked overnight, to a smooth paste. Add all the ingredients and apply the mixture for about 20 minutes on the affected area. Wash it off once it is completely dry. This paste makes a thin crust that helps in hair removal. Plus, potato helps in bleaching the hair, making them less visible. 8. Oatmeal and banana. This method is quite handy. Blend 2 tablespoons of oatmeal with a ripe banana, and apply this paste on the affected areas. Massage it for 15 minutes, and wash it off with cool water. Oatmeal makes a great, hydrating scrub and is loaded with antioxidants that helps to remove redness from your skin. Apart from removing your facial hair, this paste will also give you a glowing skin. 9. Spearmint Tea some studies suggest that spearmint tea may have antiandrogenic effects, which could help reduce excessive hair growth. Drinking a cup of spearmint tea daily might help over time. Number 10. Lavender and tea tree oil. Mix both the oils together and use a cotton ball to apply it to the hairy areas. They both have antiandrogenic properties which inhibit hair growth. 
Use this two to three times a day for three months. Avoid this if you have acne prone skin. Those with combination, normal or dry skin can use this remedy. Number 11. Wheat bran and milk. Mix wheat bran with milk to form a paste. Massage it into your skin till it dries up. You can then wash it off. You can use this between three to seven times a week. The paste sticks to your hair, falling off when rubbed. You can use this on all skin types. This remedy has no side effects. Number 12. Chickpea flour and haldi. Grind the haldi root. Add the chickpea flour and water to it. Make it a smooth paste. Let it semi-dry on your face after application. Then wipe off the entire pack with a wet towel. When you begin, you can use this pack every other day. Once you start seeing results, you can switch to once every 7 to 10 days. Chickpea is great for hair removal, and haldi inhibits future growth. This works best on oily skin. Do not use this on acne-prone or sensitive skin. Number 13. Healthy diet. Consuming a balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals can contribute to overall skin health. Include foods high in antioxidants, such as fruits and vegetables, to support skin health. Number 14. Stress management. Chronic stress can contribute to hormonal imbalances, potentially affecting hair growth. Engage in stress-reducing activities like yoga, meditation, and regular exercise. Number 15. Lifestyle changes. Certain lifestyle factors like sleep, exercise, and hydration can influence skin health. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep, regular physical activity, and adequate water intake. Number 16. Consult a professional. If facial hair growth is a significant concern, it's advisable to consult a dermatologist or a healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice and recommend appropriate treatments, such as prescription creams, laser therapy, or electrolysis. Frequently asked questions. Why do we get facial hair? Usually, women have a low level of androgen, male hormone. But, if your body produces too much androgen, you may have facial hair. Does PCOS cause facial hair? Yes, PCOS is one of the common causes of facial hair. Is having facial hair some serious problem? Facial hair is a common issue worldwide. But if you are worried that the medicines you are using are causing an increase in unwanted hair growth, the hair is growing rapidly, you have male features like deepening voice, acne, male pattern thinning of your hair, increased muscle mass, reduced breast size, and increased clitoris size, or if you experience anxiety or feel too self-conscious then you must consult a doctor for appropriate treatment. Is spearmint tea a good option to get rid of facial hair? Yes, spearmint tea might be helpful to you to get rid of facial hair. Some researchers found that spearmint oil lowers testosterone in the blood. It also lowered androgen levels in women with PCOS. Always perform a patch test before applying any home remedy to your face to check for allergic reactions or skin sensitivity. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to get updates on new videos.